A very good afternoon, gentlemen. My today's lecture topic is women empowerment. So my lecture will be of India's context. Here I will talk about the status of women from past to present. And finally, I will conclude my lecture by giving my opinion. So gentlemen, uh, since from ages, the women have been a victim of uh, discriminations in the world. In India, no matter how much we are talking about women's safety, women empowerment, but the ground reality is different. Every day in India, numerous crimes have been registered against women. Gentlemen, as we know that our society is male-dominated society. The status of women have been a subject to many changes over the period of time. The practices like uh, uh, female infanticides, uh, dowry, uh, child marriage and taboo on uh, widow marriage have had a long history in India and it is found very difficult to root out. If we talk about the crime against women then we have uh, uh, domestic violence, gang rapes, eve teasing, acid attack and many more. For example, the uh, Nirbhaya gang rape case, the uh, Priyanka Reddy gang rape case, the recent uh, Hathras gang rape case, these are some curse on our male dominated society. Now talking about some uh, measures in uh, taken by our social reformers, yes definitely we have some measures like uh, we have uh, uh, India, we have Bengal Sati Regulation Act 1829, we have uh, uh, Widow Remarriage Act 1856, then we have uh, Female Infanticides Prevention Act 1870. These are some measures taken by our social reformers and all the credits goes to, uh, you know, our so social reformers like uh, uh, Dayanand Saraswati, uh, Raja Ram Mohan Roy, Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar and Swami Vivekananda and many more. Now talking about uh, after the independence, we know that uh, uh, these women have been given equal rights and freedom by our Indian constitution. Now, female, uh, they are participate equally in all the fields including education, uh, sports, media, culture, science and technology in every field including armed forces and many more. Uh, gentlemen, as I uh, mentioned that our government has given equal uh, rights and freedom to women to empower them and the best example uh, in our uh, India is uh, late Srimati Indira Gandhi. We know that she is the uh, longest serving Prime Minister, Lady Prime Minister in the world. After that we have uh, many, uh, you know, uh, uh, legends like we have uh, Mother Teresa, we have Sarojini Naidu, we have uh, Suchita Kriplani, we have Lieutenant General Punita Arora, the first lady general, then we have Giran Bedi, the first lady prime minister, uh, the lady IPS officer. And then also we know that uh, uh, government has reserved 33% of uh, uh, seats in the Indian parliament for women. After that government has also launched many schemes like uh, uh, Betty Bachao, Betty Padao schemes. Government has uh, uh, funded uh, many uh, you know money to empower them uh, regarding their educations then we have uh, mudra loan we have uh, ujwala yojana many families uh, welfare schemes have been launched by the government so finally gentlemen i would like to conclude my lecture by saying if you want to empower our women then first we need to focus more on their educations after that uh, proper implementation of law regarding their women's safety should be made strong after that uh, a fast track court should be made to deal with the cases regarding uh, women after that uh, vocational training and skill development program should be made easily available for uh, women especially in the village areas after that we know that there should be more representation of women in the field of politics in the field of service sector will benefit them more after that finally uh, our society plays a very important significant role uh, that is to get to provide opportunity to the girls to uh, get them education and also uh, society need to educate boys that is need to more focus on their moral educations for the proper safety of women uh, we also we should always remember that our nature is mother that is she is he uh, she so if we respect our mother then only our India will be safe for uh, our women thank you very much